of Hui Manu Oku. Hi, Richard. Aloha, all. Hey, my name is Rich Downs. Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. Yes, uh, hi, and my name is Rich Downs, and thanks uh, to you, Caroline, Thelma, and all the others who are making uh, this year's hack possible. Um, yeah, I'm the uh, coordinator for the Hui Mano Oku. I'm also a member of the board of directors of the Hawaii Audubon Society. <clears throat> and I'm uh, extremely fortunate to be able to spend uh, most of my time working with birds in Hawaii and uh, working to connect people with the birds that are around them. And uh, today I want to share with you my vision for a, a novel way to connect people with birds and invite you to uh, help convert this vision into a working app. When I'm uh, out and about, I see a lot of people playing um, AR games you know, such as Pokemon Go. And I've been thinking about a, a, a way to cope with a similar immersive experience uh, using currently available mo mobile technologies that would uh, it'll be a good way to help, help us connect people with the birds around them. Regardless of where you are in Hawaii, you can see birds. In fact, there are more than 300 species that are found in Hawaii. However, most people just don't know, don't see them because they don't know where to look for them. And if they do see them, they, they don't know what they are and, and what makes them so special. Uh, this challenge is about uh, using technologies that are being used more and more often to connect us with things in our environment, real things like items that are you know, on sale in stores nearby or fanciful characters such as a Pikachu in a Pokemon Go. Uh, for this challenge, we want to create a framework that makes use of uh, mobile technology that all of us carry around in our pockets, uh, location-based services, AR, to uh, create an engaging and immersive gaming experience that makes learning about and connecting with Hawaii's birds both fun and rewarding. Uh, thinking about an AR game to connect people with birds, there are lots of features you know, that could be included, uh, but for this challenge, we want to focus on really the core functionality that's going to be necessary to support sort of a basic scenario that we envision for the game. And uh, here's, here's the basic scenario that uh, we have in mind for uh, Aloha Birds. Uh, uh, people are out and about in the, in the real world, uh, and uh, as they're out and about uh, with the app, they'll virtually encounter a variety of, of uh, bird species found in Hawaii, both native and, and uh, non-native birds. Uh, players will use uh, their camera and the phones to uh, uh, view these birds that are being uh, uh, introduced to them via AR. And uh, they'll use their, their phones to uh, uh, do screenshots, to snapshot uh, uh, images of the, of the birds. Uh, and players will then accumulate points by adding these snapshots to uh, what we refer to as an avidex, which is uh, uh, like a, a bird encyclopedia uh, that you'll be building. And then uh, um, players will get points uh, based on the, the snapshots that they uh, um, that they that they take. Um, the points uh, number of points that they get will be based on considerations such as whether or not the bird is a, is a, is a native or non-native species. How often that uh, particular bird is seen uh, at, the, at the, the player's location. Um, to deliver the core functionality, uh, you'll get a chance to uh, gain experience using uh, some of the some of your technologies uh, that we think are going to be necessary to create a, an educational, immersive user experience uh, that helps people to learn about their, their natural surroundings. These are the technologies that we think are going to have to be involved. Um, you know, mobile technology uh, to be aware of where the, the player is at all times when using the app. Um, algorithms or code that will be uh, used to connect uh, the uh, location of the, the of the player with uh, data that uh, will you know, describe the birds that are found in that in that area. Uh, augmented reality that will actually place um, uh, images of the birds on the user's phone. And um, this is where you can get really creative, uh, a gamification process to uh, uh, you know, create that uh, interactive experience that uh, will make uh, learning about Hawaii's birds uh, both fun and rewarding. Um, a little bit more about the key technologies uh, that we envision being used and uh, 
uh, walking through an, an example of uh, sort of the, the, the game flow that they're anticipating. Uh, first of all, you know, location-based uh, location based services. Uh, the uh, the phone's got to know where you are, so there's a variety of different ways you know that uh, that the phones can do that. Leave that up to you as to what uh, what's the best way to do it. Um, but uh, in our example here, um, uh, say you are a player and you find yourself uh, at the uh, uh, cemetery on uh, King Street, uh, downtown Honolulu. And uh, while you are standing there in the cemetery, um, you will uh, be, you'll be made aware uh, through uh, the use of algorithms that um, uh, there are certain species that can be seen, have been seen, reported uh, in that particular part of town. In fact, uh, uh, based on data we've collected, we'll make available to you, you know, 26, at least 26 species of birds are, you know, could be seen any any particular spot uh, in that area downtown. Um, in this case, uh, the app is going to select uh, one of them, uh, the white turn, and um, uh, give you a, a virtual encounter with it. So the, the app will display the image on the, on the, the user's phone, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the player's challenge will be to uh, uh, capture a photo and image of the uh, of that bird as it's uh, moving about on the screen, uh, doing a snapshot. Uh, it's a snapshot then that will be added to the Avidex to uh, uh, give, give them points. So what you're seeing here is an actual video that, that I shot um, showing a, a, an actual bird flying. Uh, what the uh, the challenge would be to uh, um, use the phone to show the actual you know, location and, and what the, uh, the player is, is able to see through their phone but place a uh, you know a virtual image of a bird uh, on the on the screen, uh, and then the you say the the player will use uh, uh, screenshot capability to uh, to to create the the snapshot. So once the snapshot is is uh, created, it's automatically added added to the player's avidex of other you know captured you know log bird species. And the goal will be to add as many of the more than 300 species of birds that are found in Hawaii to your own personal Avidex. Uh, you earn points as you build the Avidex. Uh, the number of points awarded for each species uh, can be based on criteria such as uh, how common are they? Are those, how common are those species? Of, uh, is that species of bird at the location where it was snapshot? Um, as well as their conservation status. Uh, the information for each of these species uh, uh, will be provided to teams who are working on the challenge. Uh, and then when a bird is added your to your Avidex, additional information about the species will be to be available made, will be made available to the player. Uh, links for online uh, reference information uh, for each species will also, also be made available to the teams that work on the challenge. And you can see here the uh, white turn was snapshot added to the Avidex, and uh, now the uh, uh, you notice that uh, in this uh, in this Avidex, it'll be uh, noted that uh, this particular species has been uh, has been collected. So over time, you know, more of the species will be uh, you know indicated as having been collected. Uh, so that's the basic functionality that we're looking for. Uh, but once you know the framework is in place, uh, they'll just you know. The, virtually unlimited uh, numbers of ways in which uh, uh, we can you know, leverage that framework to produce a, a really, I think, uh, enriching, engaging, um, and fun and interesting uh, experience. And uh, do things like uh, uh, developing special events um, that uh, take into account um, a bird species and other actual you know, behaviors, migrations, season, seasonability, uh, cooperative challenges where you can team up with friends uh, to earn to earn points, um, some of the birds that we see, you know, in Hawaii, they don't spend the entire year there, uh, and so uh, seeing some birds that normally aren't there out of season, um, if you uh, happen to catch one, capture one, uh, you could perhaps you get additional credit for those. 
Um, and we want to, we're particularly concerned about the state of uh, native, Hawaii's native bird birds. So we want to give a special emphasis to um, uh, to native birds in the app, so that uh, um, you know, they'll get you know, bonus credit for for snapshotting um, native birds. Uh, other things you can do, uh, you know, that other uh, AR gaming experiences you provide, you can you customize uh, your online persona. Um, you can uh, share your captures, and uh, we can have leaderboards you know, where individuals can compete there. Uh, as I said, you can get bonus for native bird discoveries. Um, and we also want to or can envision uh, connecting people uh, who learn about uh, Hawaii's native birds, especially with uh, opportunities to be involved in supporting your know, conservation efforts to help to uh, preserve those species. Uh, as you probably know, uh, several of Hawaii's uh, native bird species have already gone extinct. Several more are in danger of extinction. And we'd like to do all we can do to uh, bring, especially bring attention you know, to those species of birds and uh, also provide uh, ways for people to learn about the ways that they too can be involved in helping to preserve them. Uh, so we envision things like um, being able to do like virtual participation in uh, some of those activities that can really benefit uh, Hawaii's birds. Um, so some of the sort resources that we'll make available to you, we, we want the, uh, those of you who decide to uh, um, uh, take on this challenge, and we hope you all give it uh, consideration and, uh, uh, and uh, hope to see many of you involved with it. We want you to focus on uh, the sort of your building, developing the framework, leveraging those your technologies that are uh, becoming increasingly available to uh, put together the, the framework to you know, support the game. There's gonna be a lot of data involved. We don't want you to have to spend your time going out there searching and finding the data and putting it into a form that you can use it. Uh, so we're gonna provide uh, the data for you. Things that we've already done with the data is that uh, we produced uh, uh, list of bird species seen for each one kilometer block on Oahu. So uh, knowing which, uh, uh, being able to use that grid uh, that we can share with you um, whenever your user finds himself in one of those blocks, that is, you'll have a, you will know which species of birds have been uh, reported in those blocks. And for each species, we'll also provide information like, is this a native or non-native uh, species? Uh, it's a conservation status. Um, how often has it been seen within that one kilometer block? So that'll help you to know, you know uh, how many points you might uh, uh, give to the user for having uh, seen that particular species in the particular location at that particular time of the year. Uh, we'll also have links to um, reference data that's online uh, for each uh, species that you can incorporate into the, the game experience. In order to produce these uh, images, you're going to have to have access to photos. Uh, we have photos uh, of all the species, uh, so those will be available to you to uh, uh, work with to, to produce the, uh, the AR images. And we'll also provide links to uh, conservation programs uh, here in Hawaii. So that's the challenge. Uh, we hope that you'll, uh, you know, consider uh, working on this one to uh, help us uh, connect uh, people with the birds and uh, help more people become involved with helping to ensure that more Hawaii species are, are around to uh, uh, survive into the future. Um, be around this afternoon to uh, interact with you, you know, in our Slack space. And uh, if you want to reach out to us, uh, feel free. Looking forward to working with you to help to bring this vision for a, uh, an interesting and engaging uh, AR game, uh, help to make that a reality. Mahalo. Thank you, Richard. Uh, your challenge reminds me of the tech version of that game. Um, I spy with my eyes. You guys remember that? Driving mm -hmm. around? Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Thank you again, Richard.